especially on laptops which don't have much space on their hard drives. It happens that you run out of space and that's not only annoying but also it slows your PC. So now I show you 5 tips how you can easily free up the space. Especially because the trend goes to smaller netbooks which usually have smaller disks, you run out of space very fast. And then it's very annoying because you have to remember all the time you don't have much space and you have to be careful what you download and what you install and so on. And besides, it slows down your system because there is no space to run it. But now I show you 5 tips how we can easily free up the rubbish from your disk. At first I'll start with the features of Windows for this. So for the first one we click on the start menu and type in a disk and then here the first result is disk cleaner. When we click on it here you can select which drive you want. I have several drives and you can run this on every of your drives. I'll choose C and click OK. Then it scans for all the data and when it's finished we get displayed a list here of what types of data we have on our PC and how big the amount is. So, you can normally check everything, you just have to be careful with the recycle bin here, but you can check if you have something in the recycle bin which you could need, but otherwise you can free it up. Of course, 100 megabytes on my system is not much, but this is because I don't use this in my everyday life because I only use this system to record for YouTube and normally this would be way more. And especially when you just upgraded from an older Windows to Windows 10, you have a folder on your C drive which is named Windows Old and there are parts of the old system stored but usually you don't need this and you can free this up also by checking it here. If you have checked everything you just have to click OK. And with this button we can also clean up the system files, because this needs more writes. When we click on it we can choose the drive again and when we click OK it scans it and we get the list again. But I don't show this because that's nearly the same and it just takes time to scan my system. So then you can check there everything and clean it up again. My second tip is to reduce the amount of space which is reserved for the system restore. Therefore we right click on the start menu and click on system here. And then we click on system protection here at the left and on configure here. And here we can change the amount which is reserved for our system restore. For me it's already on 1% because I changed this before but normally is it higher something like this and then even if you have a bigger disk this is a lot of wasted space. And you can reduce this up to 1% if you don't have much which got lost on your system or if you don't care about backups or if you manage your backups otherwise. Then just click on apply and OK. Then we can close this again. So my next tip is the program CCleaner. We just go on piriform.com and click here on free download. And then here on download again and download the setup. I already have done this and it's on my desktop. So I open it, yes, you can choose the language and check or uncheck what you want. I click install and when it's finished we can run it. So but what do we actually do with this program? Simple, now this program helps us to free up the temporary data because every program needs to store something while it runs and usually it keeps in the temporary folder for some time. So here we have the Windows applications and you can check what you want. Of course you have to read it and to be careful because for example when you use the Microsoft Edge you might not want to erase your history because it's nice to have it. So you can check here what you want. Also here with system and advanced usually you can check everything because of course the shortcuts not you want them but here um, 
event logs and so on and you can also confirm the warning because if you know Windows a little bit you know that Windows itself can't handle with problems. So you know what I mean, just check what you want. Also possible here for other applications and then we can click on analyze or straight on run cleaner. But I click on analyze first and when it's finished we have a list which programs have which amount of files and space. And here is a summary 5 MB. Of course, again, because this is not my everyday system, this is not so much, but if you have many programs installed and use your PC often, then this should be more. Then we can click on Run Cleaner and free up all the temporary files. So my next tip is to find duplicate files on your system. This could especially happen if you have a large library of pictures or music and then it occurs that you have the same files doubled on your disk. So I have three programs prepared for this but I'll just introduce them to you very fast on the website and not install them because I will show you these programs each in separate videos in detail. So at first I have WYSIPIX. I had to use this for my own already because I had a lot of duplicate pictures because of WhatsApp on my phone. So here you see already a screenshot. Here is a list then of every duplicate photo and then you can just click on it, so mark it and click on delete. So we go on wizipix.info and here on download. And we have to click here, we get to the mirror page and here is the download button, download wizipix installer. Then of course save it and install it. The next one is Similarity on similarityapp.com. This is especially for music. Here you see a screenshot too. Here we have the list in different colors. These two in gray color are duplicates and these two and these two. And then here we have on different criteria how identical the files are according to this program. Then we click here depending on which system you have. Also download it and install it. Last program is Disk Boss. I don't get confused by this purchase and trial button. There's also a free version on download here. When we click here we can download the free version. So Disk Boss is for duplicate files in general. So if you also want to search your documents or whatever for duplicates. Of course you can also use this for pictures and your music. But in my opinion, the other two programs, especially for these purposes, are better than the general program Disboss. I'll close this because my last tip is the program TreeSize. We go on gemsoftware.com and then we can download the free version of TreeSize here. What we can do with TreeSize, I'll show you right now. So at first you can choose here which version you want to download. The setup file the executable itself or a portable version. I use the setup and you can choose for which region. For me, Europe. Click on download and save the file. I already have this on my desktop. Then we double click the zip file and open the setup. We have to confirm yes. Choose the language and go through the installation progress. And then I'll check launch tree size free now. And here we have the pop-up. I should restart the program as administrator because then it has also the rights to search for system files. Of course I'll do this. Yes. And maximize the window. So it starts to scan, but with this button you can choose which drive or which folder it should scan. Of course here you can choose every drive but you also can choose special folders. I'll choose my C drive, yes, and then it starts to scan and update the list. When it's finished we see here the list ordered on their amount of used space. And here you see also with this yellow background how many spaces used. So this program is very useful to find folders you maybe forgot already of old programs or something like this. I used this already and you can't imagine what you find on your disk if you used your computer for several years. 
So then we can open it of course. I'll choose users, of course I have here only one username and the most is in documents. And here the files, we can also open this. Here all the clips because these are the recorded videos for YouTube. Though with this program you can identify a lot of your wasted space on your disk. And here we also have the folder I talked before about. This is Windows old. Of course this is only very little because again this is not my normal computer. But if you upgrade it from your normal computer to Windows 10 and this folder should be way bigger. So that's it. I would appreciate your likes and comments and check out my channel and subscribe to me to miss no future videos. I put three videos in the end card in which you might also be interested. See you next time.